This is not pepper that I am sprinkling on your hand, right, Derek? No. Yeah. Have you any idea what it is? Not one idea. <laughs> well, I, they're iron filings, so that gives you an idea what's underneath the cardboard, right? Uh -huh. What? A magnet. Right, a magnet. And it's strong enough to go right through your hand. Uh -huh. Looks like it's just the werewolf's hair. All right. Like you're growing moss on your, black moss on your hand. <laughs> okay, turn your hand upside down. Because very often when you do um, experiments like this with a magnet, you put a piece of paper on it and you put iron filings on it in order to see the lines of force. And you mm -hmm. can see them here, see them? Yeah. Okay. And now it's you weird. can also <laughs> see them sticking up sort of in three dimensions, right? A strong magnet on it, in fact. It must be a strong magnet under there. Because, whoa, it should be a strong magnet because look how big it is. Yeah, well, now you That's can go ahead and play with it like this, okay? Yeah. You can, it's hard even to pull off. All right. So it must okay, let's get it off of there so you can take a look at that magnet. Okay, dump it over here on the tray. Okay. Now you can take the box off and take a look at what's underneath. Whoa! That's huge. That is really a magnet, uh -huh. right? As a matter of fact, uh, to give you an idea how strong it is, take the hammer off. Oh, that would be pretty... not easy. Really strong. Now, in other words, to, to prevent that thing from happening, uh, engineers and scientists, when they work with magnets, they put a keeper on it. And here's a keeper. It's a piece of metal which they put across the top. So here, put it on. Okay. Watch your fingers. Oh. Yeah. Okay, here's another one. Okay. Now the magnetic force is going through this. Uh -huh. So that's why they call it a keeper. Now, have you ever done any experiments with magnets? Yeah, sometimes at school when the teacher's out of the room, we take magnets that we see on the board and we throw them against the board and we um, just see if they can stick. And if they don't stick, then... <laughs> okay, you call that an experiment? Sort of. Well, yes, yeah. it's, I would say that's an activity, yeah. at least, right. Anyway, so there must be some uh, metal in the, in the blackboard. Mm -hmm. or, is, or is it a green board? Uh, no, it's a black Black it's a black one. Okay, so it's probably metal yeah. covered with something so that you can yeah. write on it with chalk. Well, now you began to get the feeling of what uh, the magnetic uh, lines of force look like in three dimensions. But here's a much better way over here. See that... Uh, plastic box, mm -hmm. shake it all up. Because inside there are iron filings similar to those we had on the big magnet, but they're suspended in mineral oil, which is fairly thick, which means that the, that the iron filings will sort of uh, stay suspended a lot more. Okay, now put it down on here again. Kay. And here is a magnet. Uh -huh. And I can stick it in a little tube that runs through the middle of these iron filings. And now you can see the, 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 the uh, lines of force much more easily and in three dimensions. See how they, they're beginning to go around each end of the magnet? Looks just like the iron filings right. on my hand. Right, on your hand, except this time <laughs> yeah. you can see them in three dimensions because that's the way the really the lines of force exist around a magnet. But most of the time you don't realize it. And so now you can with this special kind of box that has mineral oil and iron filings in it and a magnet. 